Hello YouTubers, I'm on my Mifer 254 today and what I have here is an axle, rear axle from an MGA twin cam and I need to push out the shaft and from previous uh, experience it's safest just to drill that shaft as much as you can to make the walls really thin and then I'll put it in my press and hopefully it gets pushed out uh, with no damage. So what I'm going to do is start with a small drill here and work my way up to an inch. I have a spare hub or a hub that's already taken off the shaft. And I can see here's about oh, an eighth of an inch or more. Uh, so split in half, about a sixteenth that'll be left. That should be a nice thin wall for, um, for pushing out. It should collapse when I push it out. So here we go. I'm going to take it in about three inches should uh, just be out the back end of that. I think there was about a hundred thousand of the standard NGA models that were made. And then the twin cam, I think it was just under 2,000 making this a very kind of rare and special uh, hub. I'm going to make sure we don't screw it up. So we're still on the Mifer 254. I'm, I'm cutting out or drilling out the center of a very rare hub for an MGA twin cam. There's only 2,000 of these cars made. And um, I've had trouble pressing out shafts, rusty shafts before, so I'm not taking any chances. We're drilling the shaft out by about an inch, which leaves about a 16th thin wall all around. Um, I've already cut off uh, a, bar, a big part of the shaft. It's a 10 spline rusty, it needed to be replaced. Um, so once I'm finished here, I will put it on the press and just press out that thin wall tube. I've left a little bit of, of material on the back end there so that when I put a rod in the press, I should be able to push that through. So here we go. Okay, we're on the final drill size of an inch. Um, once that's done, I'll bring it onto the, onto the hydraulic press and we'll try and push out that shaft. And we'll see how that goes.
my largest drill a one inch about three inches deep uh, just using my new ROM keyless chuck that has uh, an anti-slip patented uh, mechanism on it works really well I love it because when I do tapping in the lathe here when you go backwards to break the chip on other self tightening chucks it tends to, to loosen the chuck up which is not very good this one here, however, you can go forwards, backwards, and it doesn't seem to slip at all. So very good. Okay, well, there's the hub with the uh, one inch board out of the uh, existing axle. That's my spare that came without an axle in it. And so what I'm going to do now, put that on the hydraulic press and push that out. Hopefully no damage to the, to the surface area. So here's the uh, setup on my press. Oop, I just heard it pop. And she's moving. Awesome. <laughs> 